Good day everyone. Today I would like to discuss an important aspect of qualitative research, the inductive approach. Qualitative research is a methodological approach that aims to understand and interpret social phenomena through exploring the perspectives and experiences of individuals. The inductive approach is a fundamental aspect of qualitative research that involves deriving theories and concepts from empirical data rather than starting with preconceived hypotheses. Let's delve into the key aspects of the inductive approach in qualitative research. To begin with, let's define the inductive approach in qualitative research. The inductive approach involves starting with specific observations or data and then gradually developing broader theories or concepts based on these observations. It is an iterative uh, process of data collection, analysis, and theory building. Unlike the deductive approach, which starts with predetermined hypothesis to test, the inductive approach allows researchers to be open to the data and encourages exploration and discovery. In the inductive approach, researchers immerse themselves in the data often through methods like interviews, observations, or analysis of texts or documents. They pay close attention to patterns, themes, and recurring ideas that emerged from the data. These patterns are then organized into categories or concepts, leading to the development of theories or explanations that capture the essence of the phenomenon under study. Now let's explore the advantages and benefits of the inductive approach in qualitative research. One significant advantage is its ability to capture the complexity and richness of social phenomena. By allowing data to guide the research process, the inductive approach provides a nuanced understanding of participants' experiences and perspectives. It allows the researchers to uncover unexpected insights and explore factors that may have been overlooked in preconceived hypotheses. The inductive approach also promotes fle flexibility and adaptability during the research process. And the researchers can modify their data collection and analysis strategies as they progress allowing them to delve deeper into emerging themes or explore new avenues of inquiry. This flexibility enables a holistic and comprehensive exploration of the research topic. Furthermore, the inductive approach promotes a grounded and authentic representation of participants' voices. By letting the data speak for itself, researchers can ensure that their findings are firmly rooted in the experiences and realities of the participants and this strengthens the validity and credibility of the research outcomes. However, it's important to acknowledge some challenges and considerations associated with the inductive approach. One key uh, challenge is the subjectivity and potential bias of the researcher. Researchers must be aware of their own assumptions and preconceived notions, which can inadvertently influence the interpretation of data. It requires a reflective and self-aware stance to minimize such biases and ensure rigor in research uh, process. Another consideration is the time-consuming nature of the inductive approach. Yes. The iterative nature of data collection, analysis, and theory building requires substantial time and effort. Researchers need to invest sufficient resources and allocate uh, ample time to conduct a rigorous uh, qualitative study using the inductive approach. Now, finally, let's explore some potential applications of the inductive approach in qualitative research. The inductive approach is particularly suitable for exploring new or under-researched areas where limited uh, existing theory exists. 
it is also valuable in capturing the experiences and perspectives of marginalized or underrepresented groups as it allows their voices to be heard and their stories to be acknowledged. The inductive approach is commonly used in disciplines such as anthropology, sociology, <clears throat> education, and psychology where understanding human experiences and social phenomena in depth is crucial. And it can be applied in various research contexts, including exploratory studies, the ethnographic research, the phenomenological inquiries, and even the grounded theory studies. And to conclude this topic, the inductive approach is a powerful tool in qualitative research. By allowing data to shape theories and concepts, it enables researchers to uncover new insights and generate rich understanding, um, rich understandings of social phenomena. While it presents challenges and requires careful considerations, the inductive approach offers a flexible and authentic way to explore and interpret the complexities of the human experience. Thank you for your attention. I hope this presentation has shed light on the significance and application of the inductive approach in qualitative research. And I am open to any questions or discussions you may have on this topic. Thank you once again. This is Randy. Have a great day.